Hey folks, I thought I'd share a little knowledge that was shared with me from a student that I'm working with on research here on how he accesses data and information because he's basically super ultra broke. So when he wants to access a website, for example, like Bloomberg here or like the Wall Street Journal, some of these sites will have these paywalls. And in his neck of the woods, that's just simply impossible for him to, to, to pay for something like this. First of all, he's not even plugged into the system. He doesn't even have a credit card. So what he does is when he sees these paywalls, you know, amongst themselves, the students over there, what they're going to do is they're going to talk to each other and they're like, you know what, there's other ways of acquiring this knowledge. Now, in their part of the world, what they'll do is they will, it just amazes me the, the ideas they come up with. As a matter of fact, if we go to this GitHub web page, you're going to notice there's this plugin. It's called GitHub. I, I searched GitHub bypass paywalls for Firefox. This guy called I am, I'm a damn dev. And it says bypass paywalls Firefox. And if you've never been to, uh, to GitHub, this is all going to look kind of scary and intimidating. But really, it's quite simple. Here you get to see the newspapers, the, the websites that it will bypass. Of course, it's also going to tell you, you might need the cookie remover add-on. So you might want to read that. But let's just click this. And if we do, it's going to ask us if we want to install this add-on. And we just click on the add right here. And then here we just tell it that, uh, okay, we're going to also allow it on private windows. And if you ever want to change the settings, because here's the thing is, what this is going to do is this is going to reset your cookie. So if you belong to any of these sites already, you'll probably want to uncheck them. So we're going to go ahead and test this. If we click on that link for the Wall Street Journal article, you will notice that it is fully available. So this is a weakness in the way that they do it, um, which is an important thing to keep in mind because that means that sometimes these things are not going to work because the people are going to figure it out. As you can tell, Bloomberg, it still isn't letting you through. So you might be like, well, you know, because my student, that's what that's what he was saying. He's like, oh, well, that's the article I want. The other one's second, but the Bloomberg one, you know, if, if that's what you want, he's like, well, sometimes what we'll do is we'll go to Outline or Pocket. These are websites that will also have articles. So what you do is for Outline, you can actually go to the article you're looking for. So in this case, it's the Bloomberg one and you copy it and then you paste it in the article URL here. Click on Create Outline. Now, here's the thing is, if it works, it's going to show you the page, but this time it failed. So instead, the last thing we can do is we can actually search for the article by its title. The reason that we can do this is because sometimes authors will actually send their article to multiple sources, and even though one source may be behind the paywall, in this case, this is also posted on the Dallas News, and as you can tell, the entire article is there. So that's just an alternative way, searching by the title. So in summary, first thing you might want to consider is the plugin. Check and see the good plugins like the one that I showed you. You can also check for outline or pocket that those websites, or you can check for the actual complete title elsewhere. And of course, keep in mind that this changes over time. So it might work now and it might not work later, or it might be the reverse where it doesn't work now, but it will work later. So I hope this enlightened you. Of course, I always say support your sources of information whenever possible. I just say some people do have difficulty. Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again and take care.